My name is Denise Bedeau. I'm 26 years old and I live in New York City. I've actually been working as a model since 2006, uh, so it's been almost seven years of a cool career. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, when I was 18 years old, I tried to do acting, and I was always told I was just too curvy, too too big, and I was a lot smaller then. So I was always, I've always battled that whole someone telling you to lose weight and still wanting to stick with what's true to me. So I never did. Absolutely. I've seen my mom struggle with her weight my whole life, and so I always knew that I wasn't going to be that person. And I have a little girl, so it's very important for me to be truthful to who I am and to the way I was built. And every woman struggles with feeling beautiful and feeling accepted. And so when someone tells you, lose weight, do this, change that, of course it's gonna, you're gonna think about it internally. But I was raised very well, and I've always known that I want to stick it to them and keep together with what I believe in. And I'm happy. I have no need to change anything if I'm happy. In modeling, I actually, um, other than obviously growing up thinking Cindy Crawford was beautiful and the Naomi Campbells and the Tyra Banks because they had a little bit more of a, a meteor figure to them, I, I have to say that my role model growing up was Jennifer Lopez. I felt like as a Latina woman growing up, I never felt like I fit in. You know, half Middle Eastern, half, half Latina, it was a very hard struggle. So when she came out and the whole world embraced her and, and her bootylicious body, I was like, yes, that is my type of girl. You know, I, I felt like I related, like she represented who I was and, and I felt beautiful through her. And then, you know, since then the Beyonce's came out, the Shakira's, all of these women who further empowered the curvy body. And so those, those are my role models. Uh, I've recently gotten it a little bit more. It's, it's still a little bit odd because I, I still, you know, feel like there's a lot of people that I look up to. Um, and it's a beautiful thing as well to know that people see what you do and feel beautiful the same way I felt beautiful through Jennifer Lopez. Now look at me and say, wow, you make me feel great. And I love your confidence because it shows me that I can do anything that I want to and that I can be beautiful and sexy at, at my size 14, 16. And so. It's a, it's a great thing. It's, it's, it's definitely been eye-opening. I, you know, I started this not for the recognition, but for the self-empowerment. Mm -hmm. And so I think it's a beautiful thing, like I said, to, to change people's lives through feeling great and doing what I love to do. And it's, it's great. Curvy Girls has taken me to a level that I didn't think was possible. And I, it's funny because me and, and fellow Curvy Girl Lorna Litz, you know, we're very close friends and we go out a lot and we always get recognized when we go places. And I hear stories from messages, you know, people email me on, on my email or my website or Facebook and they're always telling me how I make them feel so it's so cool. Like I was, I was saying recently that I was at the airport at JFK and the lady was like, oh my god, I know who you are and it's just, it's so rewarding to know that what you're doing is changing people's lives. <laughs> um, it's funny because like we were talking about Muse Models, which is my agency in New York City, just came out with a promo for the plus size board. And part of the slogan is just call us models. It's very long overdue, but I think there's no difference from the size zero model to the size 14 model. We're just models, you know? Uh, we all are confident, we work, we travel the world, we are living our dreams, and there's no need to put a label on what we are based on our size. We are just the average American woman, and we are making big strides, I think, in, in the right direction with, with this promotion. Um, I, I'm, I'm an American girl, yeah. <laughs> so, so I only know America firsthand as far as like, what's going on with that. Um, I know that there's always going to be people who don't believe that being a curvy model is being a legit model, but I beg to differ. I, I'm a model. 
I work, this is full time what I do, I travel the world. The same for, for Denmark and you know in Europe, I see them making huge, huge deals, you know. I work for a brand called Zizi and I'm here every couple of months shooting for them, doing huge campaigns and their photos are always beautiful, I represent the curvy woman perfectly, make us feel beautiful and sassy and confident and, and classy and I, I don't know, it, it's breathtaking to me and still mind-boggling to think that people don't acknowledge that. I think all in all, we're doing great progress. Um, I think the biggest challenge, I'm, I'm on the bigger end of plus size, I'm a 14, you know, American, and so sometimes it gets challenging for the European clients to book because they book on the smaller end. Um, but, you know, I'm working here in the US, in the UK, and in Europe, so I think that, I think there's only challenges to let there be challenges. I see the world as a big playing field that I'm ready to play the game. Beauty tips, take care of your skin. <laughs> I think it's very important, you know, and in your eyes, the eyes are the, you know, the soul of a woman, and so I think that it's important to always, you know, Latino women, we dress up to go to the supermarket. <laughs> so I think that, you know, always take care of yourself, portray yourself the way you want to be seen, and feel beautiful, and people will believe you're beautiful. Doesn't matter who you are, what you look like, your height, your size, your age, none of the above matter. It's all about what you think about yourself. I am a very shy, nerdy girl. <laughs> you know, I think it's funny because I play so many alter egos with fashion and modeling and it's so cool to be able to do this for a living. So my friends all laugh because when I'm not working, I'm totally like in my jeans and like my boots. And, like, you know, just kind of odd. <laughs> odd and shy. Not, not that sassy in real life. But hey, it, it's very fun to just act it out and be that character. Like, We're women, we can do anything. <laughs> You just gotta love who you are. I think at the end of the day, nothing else matters. Not the color of your lipstick or the designer of your jeans. And nothing matters when you go home and you're sitting there by yourself. If you love who you are, that's it. Copenhagen, hi Peepers Denmark. <laughs> this is Denise coming at you from Denmark. <laughs>